Hello everybody and thank you for coming back to my channel Deb Chanel's 48's World That's Deb Chanel 48's World And I'm coming to you with another salacious video We're going to be talking about Todd Tucker this evening Yes honey Some information came across my media feed I tell you And it was just right on point Because I was kind of thinking Lord what was Todd offering to this relationship <laughs> What was he offering to this marriage with Candy Burris? What was he bringing to the table? And it shows to me that he brought a lot in a sense, but he must have lost it after he got married to Candy Burris. And, you know, I'm going to get on into the article, but I just want to give you a little resume of what Todd Tucker makeup is when it comes or when we're talking in the work field of his profession and all of that okay before we get into the article but I also want to say thank you for coming to my channel and spending a little time with me this evening okay thank you thank you thank you thank you for all your support you have shown me and your dedication for coming over wanting to hear what I have had and have to say about a particular subject now of course you know all of it's just my opinion I'm just looking at something that interests me. And sometimes I'd be wondering like, mm, how do I feel about that situation? And instead of me talking to myself half the time, I just said, let me make a YouTube channel. And I let me talk to my other family. Because it's a family affair. It's a family affair. It's a family affair. It's a family affair. That's right. Over here, Deb Chanel's 48th World. That's where you get it. We talk about people in a discreet type of way. You know what I'm saying? We're just giving our opinions. Same thing we would do if we were sitting at the table, breaking bread together, and we were sitting and have a conversation on what's trending out there in social media. Or, hell, you might want to talk about the people on your job. Just what happened to my beverage? Yeah, this puts some ice in it. I get a little perched when I'm up here talking. Okay, but anyway, getting back to the subject at hand. Yeah, we just come in and we talk. I spend a little time with you all, maybe 30 minutes, maybe an hour or so. And we just discuss particular topics that I want to um, talk to you all about that I may have like a hmm question should they be feeling that way? Should they not be feeling that way? And I just feel stupid when I'm talking to myself. But anyway, that's why I made my channel. And that's what we do over here. We give our opinionated opinions on subject matters, okay? I'm not saying they're true. What I find out on social media, half the time they may not be true. But again, take it for what it's worth. At least you're not going to the grocery store or in a bookstore and you're just um, thinking about or looking at something. Hold on, guys. At least you're not looking at something that you have to pay for. Because you don't have to pay for nothing over here at the channel. Dig up Chanel's 40's world. Only thing you have to do is give me a little bit of your time. And don't question why you spent the time with me, okay? Just know you donated your time. I either gave you something. I made you laugh or whatever. Because it's just entertainment and me talking to you about subjects, okay? But enough said about that situation. Let's get on to what I found out about Todd Tucker. And like I said... It was just on my media feed, and then I call myself just Googling just to see what type of work he has done in the past and what he really brought to the table or what really interests Candy about him. Because we knew he was like a project manager or something at Bravo Entertainment or working over there at the Real Housewives of Atlanta. We know the backstory that Phaedra got them together and this, that, and the third, and that's where their relationship started or formed at. Because neither one of them had enough sense or decency to say, hey, I like the way you look. Ooh, he getting on my nerves. Hold on. Uh-uh. Nope. You got it. Okay, we had just shut him out. But you still may hear him in the background because my microphone seems like it just picks up everything. But anyway, just going back to the story. Um, Lord, I don't lost my train of thought because it don't take long for me to lose that train of thought. <laughs> But anyway, to say this to say that, we wanted to find, or I wanted to find some backstory on what attracted uh, Candy to him. What interest was he involved in that made her think about, hmm, oh, I now remember my train of thought. I don't know why it had to take 
Phaedra to put them together because they was both working on the Real Housewives of Atlanta set. They knew who he was, but I don't know because Candy got a real forceful aggressiveness about her. So I don't know why she didn't go up to the brother and say, hey, I like the way you look and I've been watching you and I know you're in the industry. Can we go have lunch or something? That's how she could have did. That's what an OG would have did. But, you know, she's in the grooming stage, so. It is what it is, okay? Or he could have got off his little keister and said, you know, I kind of like you. Can we uh, hang out for a while or can we hang out sometime? But, you know, I don't know how and why they didn't connect on their own and they needed Phaedra to put them together. But that's neither here nor there. But let's get into the information that I did find out about Todd. Now, according to Forbes magazine, okay, uh, Todd Tucker is worth $400,000. That's what they say, $400,000 bucks, okay, greenbacks. Now, to me, I thought he was in the million-dollar range because from just the little things that I thought he was a party of, but maybe, I don't know, he was getting paid under the table. Maybe he wasn't getting paid at all. I, I don't know, but it seems like I thought he was more so in the range of maybe a one million mark type of uh, pay grade, but... Yes, it is what it is, isn't it? And this was a 2019 study that was done on uh, Mr. Todd Tucker. Now, this is coming from Forbes magazine. Now, how reputable they are, how correct they are on finding out these findings of people's salaries, I don't know. But it just is what it is. Thank you. And shut, shut the door. Lock him in with me. But uh, anyway, both of them in here? Okay. Yes, I had to get that Moscato beverage going on. It's been one of them hard days at work. So I kind of had to get mellow. And I got one of my wine bottles back here. I might have to show y'all one of those. I ain't trying to be like Tasha K, but, you know, trying to flaunt the uh, bottles of wine because I don't get down like that. Sigrun's coolers are my best liquor. Okay, that's about as strong as I get. Now, I do have my little uh, Moscatos that I like. That Not that much in alcohol content, but... It hits the spot. It mellows you out. Stop it. And um, it has like a fruity taste to it. Uh, but I'll let you know if you want to know. If you want to know what I was drinking, just hit me down in the comments and I'll let you know. Okay. But anyway, going back to Mr. Todd Tucker. They write and says uh, in black and white that Todd is an American film producer. Yes. And an actor. Now, I've never seen or never heard tell of Mr. Todd Tucker acting out there. If y'all know what films he was acting in, let a sister know. Because I sure would like to go and invest my time in seeing how this brother got down on screen. You know what I'm saying? What kind of actor was he? Was he one that made me come and cry about an event? Was he one to get me hyped up? You know, want to go out there and flap somebody upside the head? You know what I'm saying? You know them kind of movies that you come out of the theater and you feel some kind of way about what you saw and you just all hyped up and stuff? You remember? Anyway, I was going to say Wakanda. <laughs> you know how y'all felt when y'all saw that movie? Because I didn't really see it at the movie theater. I kind of waited until it came on Netflix. Oh, it's with a Netflix or Hulu. Hell, it one of them. Maybe my daughter got a bootleg. But, you know, it, it has to be a movie that makes me really think. Those thought-provoking type uh, movies. Or somewhat um, science fiction type movies I like to go see. But another here, no there. I just got off on my side by my tangent. I get down like that sometimes. Y'all know how I am. Ooh, okay, but anyway, and they go on to say he uh, directed the film Monster Mutt and has co-produced films such as Night of the Demons and Trailer Park of Terror. I haven't heard of none of those particular uh, features of uh, movies being uh, brought out. I mean, what, what, where were they? What network were they on, Todd? Because, I, I, like I said... My mind just loses me. I don't know. I've never seen, never heard of those particular features. But again, like I said, Todd Tucker's worth $400,000 according to Forbes magazine. Now, we do know he worked for Bravo Network as a production manager. That's when we would come up a little, uh, what do you call it, a little to the future or to his current status of what we 
knew he was a part of because I ain't never know who a Todd Tucker was until Candy got to, you know, in his midst and started bringing him around and all that. Didn't know who he was. Couldn't tell him from another Joe Blow out there. But anyway, he was working as a production manager and a line manager for the television programming that we saw uh, that the Real Housewives was being filmed on. Uh, doesn't say how long he stayed there or whatnot. I guess it really doesn't matter. He has that to put on his resume. But um, they also say he's worked in film and the music industry. Okay. He has done certain things of owning his own production company called T.T. Tucker uh, Production LLC. He has produced music videos. I'm telling you, if y'all know which music video he constructed, let us just know. Okay, I would love to know because I'm like, hmm, who has he been around? Who has he hung out with? Are these big heavy hitters that he's produced music videos for or what? My mind is leaving me because I don't, I don't know of anything. I'm sorry. So if anybody knows, please, just, please educate me on that. Get drop it down in my comment section. Let me know so I can get a little educated on Mr. Todd Tucker. Okay, because the only thing I really know him from is Real Housewives of Atlanta being in the back part, the back scenes part. Uh, never up front, never being like the main character we were watching on a sitcom show. So y'all get down and let me know. And they also said he has uh, been a part of news programming shows, reality shows, and live coverage programs. So I don't know if he dipped and dabbed in the political ring or whatnot. I do know he was like a co-producer with Carlos King when they were doing that um, Divas of Hollywood. And we see how that worked itself out. They didn't get them. I don't know how many seasons did they have. Did they have three and then they just went black screen? Not really sure. Y'all check on it for me. But, um, and then it says uh, the last part of his work history, or I just say personal history. They're saying he married Candy in 2014. And ever since he did that, it seems like he's been going downhill, a non existent in the work field. Or the professional field where he has his own claim to fame. How he's getting down with getting his money. But we're going to move a little further on to another uh, reality gloss, uh, gossip blog. They're called AtlantaBlackStar.com. They seem to be pretty reputable when it comes to reporting entertainment gossip celebrity news. Uh, they're one of my heavy hitters that I use from time to time when I want to talk about a subject matter or whatnot. And usually it's my girl Kirsten Willis over there banging them out for me. But this particular person is Angelina Vasquez. Okay, she's come aboard and it seems like they've utilizing her skills, her journalistic skills, and she's performing her own commentary and, and and giving her journalistic views and writing up articles for us to be taken a part of and getting her credit. So, yes, we're giving her credit over here at Dev Chanel's 40s World. She's an employee over there at Atlanta Black Star. She brought out this article. She titled it, More Than a Household Husband. Five things you didn't know about Candace Burr's partner, Todd Tucker. We ain't going to say partner. We're going to say married man. We're going to say husband. She deserves that title. So, I just had to bend your ear on that one, Angelina. Get it correct, honey. Not partner husband okay but anyway she wrote this article on december 3rd which was yesterday and we're gonna go right on into the article itself it says todd tucker is best known as a self-proclaimed daddy daycare and the husband of real housewives of atlanta star candy burris okay for seven seasons todd has often been the voice of reason and sometimes the target of attacks from his mother-in-law, Mama Joyce. But they have since reconciled. And I'm going to tell you, that reconciliation came real quick, fast, and heard when Todd's mother passed. And, you know, he was feeling some kind of way. It seemed like he was just, uh, no love was being shown to him. And everybody was like, well, damn. Because I didn't feel far from like, damn. I want to share and Mama Joyce to get into it more often. But, hey, when the Lord call you home, he call you home, honey. Uh, ain't no second guessing on that, but it would have been nice to see them have some good banter on TV, fighting over their children, and then coming to a, 
uh, meetings on their minds and just feel like they're going to just co-parent both children and just love them as much as they can. But it seemed like Mama uh, Sharon was more of the outgoing, fierce type woman, party animal, uh, didn't stop till she got enough, that kind of lady, you know what I'm saying, like, shake it, baby, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it till you drop, till you drop dead gorgeous, you know what I'm saying, that kind of woman, and Mama Joyce was like, okay, what can I go to the store and buy next, <laughs> what can I do to make myself look good, and not just saying Todd Mama didn't look good because she damn sure did. She she looked good for her age. But like they say, black don't crack. And that is true, true, true. But anyway, uh, so I kind of miss Mama Joyce being, I mean, Mama uh, Sharon not being here with us and giving us salacious stories to talk about by her little boy, Todd Tucker. And Lord, she probably could tell us some stories about him. And then again, she probably would be upset to, uh, him, you know, him not really following through with all his career choices that he made and just, you know, being up on the Canada where he is now. So in my opinion, I think she would have been a little upset. She probably would have said, boy, if you don't pull your bootstraps up and get away from under that woman and go on out there and start you something, be a man. Talk, talk, be a man. That's what she probably said. She's like, damn it, I ain't spent all that money in the education sending you to school and getting, and then you sitting up here want to party, 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 party all the time. And you lost your damn mind. That, that's what she probably would have said. And Todd Tucker would have just jumped up straight up like he was in the arm and saluted his mama and got on the good foot and got him a little business started and that's been now working 24-7, 365 days out the year. Cause Mama jo I mean, Mama, well, Mama Joyce would probably been on that ass too. <laughs> but Mama Sharon looked like she bred and, and and fed that boy, and it was like you gonna get out here and make something out yourself, and he definitely did. But it just seems like he just went down south after since he married Candy, and Candy told him to jump out the cliff. She got him and all this, and he just forgot about what he could do for himself. Cause I'm just seeing him totally in the shadows of his wife, and it don't seem like he wanna come from under her and be this man towering over her being a provider you know and letting her do her thing you know and then she you know having people cruise follow Todd around seeing how he get down on a daily basis how he move and shake and make his money you know what I'm saying and not at them damn strip clubs or, or the party with the fellas all the time damn you got responsibility Todd you already got little baby ace here and then you got baby Blaze, young man. You need to slow down. You need to slow down and become one of them, uh, join a, uh, I don't say boys club, but a, a man's club where it's almost like day to day care. You hang out with the people that got children and married and stuff. You need to change your, change your, uh, environment. You ain't single no more. And ain't no sense you hang with all these single men all the time. But anyway, that's just my pun intended, okay? But let's get back to the article. It goes on to say, while we may know him from the popular reality show, there are a few things that you may not know about the third time new dad. When we say third time new dad, you remember Kayla? Yes, that's his first child. Then he got Ace and then he got baby Blaze, okay? So that's your three. One, two, three. But it kind of like made me think, okay, why are we not including Riley? Because, you know, he said that's his child, but I guess it's just the way Angelina wrote her story, okay? But we're going to move on from there. The first one she gives is Daddy Daycare on a Different Level. Okay, Todd and his 23-year-old daughter, Kayla, from a previous, previous relationship, made headlines when they took a father-daughter trip to London strip club and see they that's what i'm saying they ain't even look at the fact that you took her to london to educate her on their culture and just be immersed with all the atmosphere and the ambiance that it was giving you and just see how they move and shake over there in the different fields of careers that you could have chosen you know taking up some language classes uh speaking uh, another language of some sort where you can talk in their native tongue, you know, which I think it is still kind of like the American, but it has like a little British accent, you know, maybe you could talk a little French here and there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I was totally on board with uh, Todd immersing you in that uh, different type of culture other than being over here in the um, United States, and especially in the South, Georgia, and, you know, of course, she being culturized in New York City, but... What kind of culture was she going to find in a damn strip club, Todd Tucker? 
let, let me get out of off this situation because, you know, he just got me upset and mad. And I'm mad at the biological mom, too, because she should have got on some type of social media, gave Candy the permission to talk for her and just cuss tar it out because he had no right taking their baby down to a strip club. I mean, that way you go with your girlfriends. Then you go to Chippendales or, or some man type. Unless she wanted to see women shake or shake their booty, their ass. I, I, mean, I don't know. I don't know how tall a child get down or whatnot or how our children get down behind our back. I should say, I ain't gonna categorize her like my child ain't went. Cause I, I don't know if she did go to a strip club or not. I don't know, but I know she's done some other uh, lucid things that I didn't know and found out about it. You know, of course, after the fact, long after the fact. Okay, but it just is what it is. But anyway, in this article, she mentions the London strip club scene. And they say in a video posted to Todd's Instagram, his daughter is seen enjoying a drink. As a woman seductively dances in front of her, despite criticism, Todd stands firm in his non-traditional bonding time. We've been to Magic City. It ain't no big deal. It shows that dad is cool, so she's able to have those good conversations with me. Exposure is key, said Todd to TMZ. My only thing is this, Todd. Okay. If you're going to go so far as take her to a strip club, what if she want to look at porn? You're going to look at porn with her and Todd Tucker? Are you going to really, you know? Because I don't think Candy going to let you do that with uh, Riley. The hell, Mama Joyce ain't even going to come out and let you do that. And then it would have been more fitting, I thought, Todd, if you would have let the mother, the biological mother, take her own daughter to a strip tease club or whatnot. Hell, even Candy Burris, okay? Let her give her a formulation of how... You know, you conduct yourself and, you know, whatever. Because he, he, let me just get out that subject totally because he wouldn't understand because he's not a woman. I wouldn't understand because he's a man. So it's just we're going to have to degree, agree to disagree on that situation. Okay. But anyway, we're going to go to uh, number two. Lemons to lemonade. In season 11, Mama Joyce claims she was complimenting her daughter and Todd, and Todd when she uh, told cast mate Portia Williams, Candy took a lemon and made lemonade. <laughs> and I'm like, Todd, going to take your daughter's money and get the hell out of Dodge. <laughs> that's just me. That's just me, y'all. Don't take it Don't take it for what it's worth. This is me and my sidebar, my antics, okay? But anyway, um, needless to say, the compliment didn't fare well for Mama Joyce and Todd's relationship. However, a year later, Todd is li literally making lemonade out of the lemons and has ever intention of sipping it to the bank with his own lemonade beverage launching in the future. So now you're trying to say he has a lemonade stand he's coming out or a lemonade company he's coming out? Oh, Todd, whatever happened to that doggone thing you were doing just two months ago? You had got your own trucking business. How's that going, Todd? How is that? That's what you need to be showing up. You know, got that big-ass truck and a little carrier thing, a haul cars or a cattle or whatever. What are you doing with that, Todd? What are you doing, man? Ugh, anyway, we're going to move on. We're going to go on to number three, Okay. Um, where it shows Todd is at work in his production company, T.T. Tucker Productions. And like I said, if you go on AtlantaBlackStar.com, put in there more than a house husband, Todd Tucker, it will surely come up and you will see all the little pictures that they have of him in these little five-part series. She don't, well, five-part paragraphs she gave us uh, to read, at, you know, at our leisure. Uh, if we wanted to see what she had to say about Mr. Todd Tucker and the five things we didn't probably know about him. Okay, but it says, number three, he he's a producer behind Hollywood Divas, which I did tell y'all that earlier. Uh, she says, Candy Burst, or Candy, may have purchased her own wedding ring. Uh, see, we, we don't want to talk about it, but, you know, I'm sure you all know she did it. You know, didn't like the ring Todd bought her, so she bought her something else, and that's just is how it is, okay? But that doesn't mean Todd's pockets are empty. Um, prior to developing and producing Bravo spinoffs with his Grammy Award winning wife, Todd had a full career of producing, okay? Including shows like 106 and Park and BET News. He also produced TV One's hit show, Hollywood Divas, with familiar faces like Elise Neal, Countess Vaughn, and Golden Brooks. Okay, number four uh, was by his mother's side when she passed away. Okay, and it's basically saying, you know, uh, Mama Sharon had a stroke 
uh, in December of 2014, and he flew to be by his mother's side, you know, her taking her last breath. He was there. He was devastated. And, you know, he felt, hey, he did what he could. She did what she could on this earth, and he will always love her, you know, regardless. That's the majority of everybody when they lose a special loved one, a parent, or, you know, whatever. We uh, deal with the hurt as we go along because it never goes away. It just gets better for us and number five it says production manager on the real housewives of atlanta before being thrust into the limelight of reality tv stardom todd worked behind the scenes as a production manager during a season four trip to africa candy and todd crossed the taboo dating on the job line and found happy ever after love <laughs> Okay, so what do y'all think about that particular article that was written by Atlanta Black Stars journalist Angelina Vasquez? She broke it down for us. She gave us a past history of Mr. Todd Tucker and all his comings and goings and his professional feel and where he was before he met Candy. But my whole question is, it's just summed up in one statement. What have you done since that time, Todd Tucker? That's what we want to know. We want to see the after Marion Candy Burris. What have you solidified for yourself where you're not in the shadows of Miss Candy Burris Tucker? That's what I want to know. But if in, anything that everybody else want to know, put it out in the comments. Let me know, okay? Let me know what you think about this particular situation, this subject. This man, this handsome man, Todd Tucker. Is he there for the lime life and, and, and living inside and in front of the camera? And he's using candy birds and her um, status of where she is in Hollywood and the... Uh, celebrity type of life living being a reality star or you know do he need to go back and find his roots and uh plant some more seeds and grow as an individual uh person alongside his wife and not really seem that he's following behind her what do y'all think about that okay but y'all get out in the comments let me know and i will see you next video bye bye <laughs>